Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to show how to control lighting for AI image in Stable Diffusion. If you are familiar with Stable Diffusion, but puzzled about controlling lightning, this tutorial is tailor-made for you. For this tutorial, I shall be using the Dream Shaper model along with Comfy UI. To begin, let's craft a simple prompt. I am including some negative prompts too and adjusting the settings accordingly. It for now, I shall stick with default settings like steps, sampler, method, scheduler and denoise. Once everything is set up, let's hit generate and see what we can get. So as you can witness, the results are quite impressive. The details are good and the sharpness is on point. However, the lighting seems to be lacking in these images. There are more advanced ways to control lightning. But now we shall focus on prompts. Let's try using some keywords to specify the lightning in the final generation. Now I am adding the keyword volumetric to the prompt section and observing the outcome. Great! The results are enriched with beautiful volumetric lightning, adding depth and dimension to the images. Let's process to another test. This time I shall add the keyword rim light and generate the images. Incredible, isn't it? The magic of the keyword rim light has introduced captivating light from behind, creating a striking visual impact. Now let's experiment with the keyword backlight and witness its effect. impressive outcomes. While it's somewhat similar to rim light, the backgrounds are adding an exciting dimension to the visuals. Lastly, let's test with the keyword sunlight. Adding this to the prompt will hopefully yield sunny results. Outstanding! The beauty of sunlight is clearly visible, enhancing the image with warmth and radiance. This demonstrated how simple keywords can control lightning in your images. Remember, there is an area of keywords you can explore, such as traumatic light, cinematic lights, and more. And that concludes today's tutorial. I hope you found this illuminating. Until next time, I will see you in the next video.